is an orphan, separated from his mother since the day of his birth. Literally, his life hangs by a thread, a soft cheesecloth pad that is his only companion, his only comfort. Once a day, the pad is removed for cleaning. This is the laboratory of psychologist Harry Harlow. Troubled, distressed, permanently deprived. He is studying monkeys to better understand human relationships. He may die for want of love. Food or security? Which is motherhood's stronger appeal? Alongside a warm, familiar mother of cloth is a stark wire doll set up as nothing more than a feeding machine. The young monkey is placed deliberately on a cloth mother which has no milk to nourish him, but fulfills some fundamental needs. This experiment revolves around one simple question. Will the infant monkey switch his affection to a wire mother which offers food and life itself? Only when forced by hunger does he loosen his grip and begin to yield to nature's most powerful internal drive. From the wire mother, he derives one thing, nourishment. No warmth, no comfort, no feeling of security. After feeding, he returns to spend up to 22 hours a day near the only mother he knows. From this inanimate... Let's put a monkey into the room. Notice how cautiously he enters the room. He's searching for comfort, but nothing relieves his disturbance. Now we'll take the baby monkey out and put in a wire mother. Now this one was nursed by a wire mother. That's right, all his life. She doesn't seem to help much. Now we'll try the same test with a cloth mother in the room. You see the contrast in the behavior? Despite the fact that the wire mother nursed him, she could offer this infant nothing in the way of affection and security. But here the monkey, by rubbing against the cloth mother, as if he was seeking as much contact comfort as he could get, Builds up his reservoir of affection and security. First, his body relaxes as the fear disappears. But above and beyond this, new positive response patterns appear. He now goes out to explore and investigate this new strange world. He is now a normal, happy, curious, baby. 